Welcome to Shortview Trading. It's your morning market hit for Monday, 20th of July. What matters today and this week? for traders. Well, that rotation pattern continued on Friday that we've been seeing in recent trading sessions with a lot of the long duration growth stocks underperforming the major indices. In other words, tech, communication services, and indeed some of the consumer discretionary areas where Amazon is housed underperforming the main equity market. With that, we saw rotation continuing into defensives and cyclicals, particularly the defensive areas which led the market on Friday, but many, many of the cyclical areas, although not all, followed. Energy and financials both underperformed, other parts of cyclicals did better. But you can divide the market up into those three key areas as we often do in these uh, morning updates. And really the, the S&P 500 is either a long duration growth stock, a cyclical or a defensive stock. And as you can see in the chart in front of you now, since the 26th of June, those two areas of the market, cyclicals and defensives, have been making the running in the stock market. At the same time, tech has been consolidating along with other long duration growth stocks over the last sort of week, 10 days. So with that in play, what we've seen is a lot of the tech short term tech models have gone from sell back to buy. So if you look at the likes of Nasdaq fund flows or the Nasdaq overbought oversold indicator, both of those have moved back to buy having been on sell a week or two ago. But interestingly, other types of short term indicators more broader based across the broader market have picked up more, more that you're seeing that's been going on in cyclicals and defensive. So for example, if you look at our short term risk appetite scoring system, which measures risk appetite across the globe, across the major financial markets of the world, the major financial assets, you can see that this risk appetite scoring system just reached by back on Friday and is still at those high levels. Equally, if you look at a broad based put to call ratio, the CBOE put to call ratio, this measures puts and calls across a whole range of, of US single stocks and markets. You'll see that that index is also on a punchy sell signal back at high levels. It was seen not many weeks ago when we saw a local high in the major indices. So there's been a real switch around in models in the last couple of weeks with the tech ones coming off going from sell back to buy and the more general ones moving back on to sell. So to see how we're playing this, please see today's daily rag available to subscribers and via the website. So what are we watching today and this week? Well, there's a number of key themes this week. We've got flash PMIs across the globe in the back end second half of this week in the US, Europe and parts of Asia. That's a quick take on economic activity in the first part of July. We've also got South Korean trade for the first 20 days of July. This is the first indicator of July global trading strength in terms of exports and imports, so it's closely watched. Added to that, of course, US earnings continue all week. It's a very busy week. Microsoft, American Express, Intel, and Tesla, amongst many others. Added to that, there'll be lots of discussion in the US Senate about another fiscal stimulus package, talks of up to potentially a tr trillion dollars, 5% of GDP more. That'll be debated sharply and heavily between Republicans and Democrats this week. Key question, will they get something through before the summer recess? And then on top of that, there should be some vaccine news flow today with the full details of the, of the clinical trial update for the AstraZeneca University of Oxford vaccine that they've been working on. So that's it from us. That's your morning market here for Monday 20th of July. Thank you for listening. Please do subscribe on, on YouTube, LinkedIn, Twitter and or Facebook. Simply search under Shortview Trading. Have a good week. Trade well, stay safe.